Oh. That might be the best one so far. Definitely. Guys, welcome back. Today we're going thrifting for golf clubs, or at least that's what John thinks we're doing. He's outside pumping gas, so we have a little bit of time because those machines hate him. But I found his dream irons on Let Go, so we're gonna do a little bit of thrifting and then surprise him and meet up with the seller later on today. You ready to do some thrifting? You making fun of my uh, gas pumping ability? <laughs> no. The screens and the button, like the screen never aligns with where the button is, like the yes and the no. Let's take a look at what they got here. This looks like a Nike T40 knockoff. Got some Wilson Pro staffs. Got that iDrive still. I might need to pick this up. This has been here for so long and uh, you guys have commented on it before. Might need to pick that up. We'll see though. Oh, here's a uh, Ping Zing knockoff, I think. Got a lot of knockoffs so far. King Snake, also a knockoff. What else do we got? Oh, Ashley, again with the bags. That's insane. Every single time you find a good bag. That might be the best one so far though. Pretty good condition, Titleist cart bag. That thing is sick, what's that? I don't think I've ever seen this before in a thrift shop. It still has the plastic on it. Oh, we can actually do an unwrapping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, uh, Wilson breast cancer one. Yeah. Still got the wrapping in it, we'll pick that up probably. Oh, we got some uh, F2, these are the forward face things. Oh, what? I didn't know they made irons too. We got a four and a five iron, huh. I've never seen that. Kind of looks like the uh, Cleveland Vast. If you haven't seen these before, the hosel is back, so you can't shank it in theory. Got a uh, Tommy Armour Silver Scott. Uh, I think this is a Walter Hagen driver, three bucks. Oh, speaking of the Cleveland Vast, here's one right here. That's hilarious. And the next bag over, we got the uh, forward face and the uh, Cleveland Vast, both five irons. We'll have to pick those up and uh, see how they compare. But Got a tailor-made burner knockoff, actually two of those. Got a 10.5 and a 13 degree driver. Old McGregor, got a hybrid back there. Tight lice, spin control, strong five wood. Original tight lice shaft, might pick that up like the old tight lies. Oh, here's a uh, knockoff of uh, tight lies right there. Got some old persimmon, bazooka J Max. Oh, there's an actual <laughs> tight lies, what shaft is it? Oh, the True Temper e, uh, EI-70, I just got um, Callaway steelhead with that. Really like the shaft. Oh, here's a uh, Callaway steelhead knockoff. That's crazy. Uh, 24 degree huh. Callaway knockoff. This might be a, what is this? Full set of Wilson stat. Oh, I think these are the ones that came with the fire stick shafts. Yeah, these are pretty sweet. Uh, came out like the same time, I think, as the uh, killer whales, the red and black. Uh, what do you got? An old bullseye putter. Oh, yeah, Kushnet Y blade. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. Pre Scotty Cameron. Uh, what is this? R7 CGB. Head cover to our exotic side cover, iron covers. Guys, let me know, are you team iron covers or not in the comments? Ashley uh, just pointed out this bag that I missed. Look She's the master of bags. What is that? It's a, zipper a zipperless? What's yeah. that? So you don't have to reach in if you want a ball with a zipper. You just That's grab genius, right in. guys. Yes. That should come standard on all bags. Super sad looking golf section over here. We got a uh, tailor-made burner knockoff. We got some low end lefty stuff. We got this, uh, oh, this is a pretty sweet looking uh, Adams golf bag. Guys, comment below if you wish uh, Adams was still in business. Some of the best drivers, Ferry Woods, Irons, in my opinion, but that thing, yeah, I don't even think this thing, oh, yeah, those are rusted shut. Totally would have picked that up though if it wasn't uh, all rusted out. We do, however, have this, uh, notice this, this uh, retractable brush thing, looking pretty sweet. Some Ram irons, uh, yeah, night iron, nothing really high end there, but we did find some Skechers Go golf shoes. Those are looking pretty sweet. Yeah, they're no Crocs though. Yeah, definitely not my Crocs, but we'll probably pick those up. 10 bucks, my size. Good to go. Skechers are always comfy. Yep. Ashley found a uh, swing trainer over there. Not sure what that is, but check this out, guys. We got a uh, battery-operated police little uh, motorcycle thing right here. Let's see if it works. No, nope, that doesn't. Oh, it's got high and low. It's uh, marked fast and slow. You know we're going fast. Let's see if any of these. Oh, definitely. Oh. That works. This thing is sweet. I don't know how to charge it or anything. Oh, that one's stuck. That's stuck. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, this thing like plugs in. I don't know what the cord is or anything like that, but we're gonna check this out, see how much it is. But what is that? I'm not really sure. Oh, it's a lead better swinging swing aid. Yeah, you like check your face angle and I don't know what these balls do, but we'll buy it. <laughs> got a sweet looking Nicholas cart bag. That's super high end. We got some lefty clubs in it, some Tommy Armour 855s. Your Nike Covert Tour 2.0. That thing looks pretty awesome. Not sure how much it is. Oh, here's the price tag. 25 bucks with clubs. That's a pretty good deal. We'll have to uh, think on that, see if we're gonna get it. But uh, yeah, 
definitely the Nike Covert is worth getting. I might see if they'll sell that separately because we don't really need any of the other stuff. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. Hi. Good. Husband John. Nice I've been to meet you. Too. Yep. <laughs> nice to meet you. Is it cool if I record this? I got a YouTube channel. Yeah, go. Ahead. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> We're in public. You can record anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bag and all the clubs. Okay. There are golf balls, tees, oh, sweet. all that stuff in here. So a couple of little extras. But they've just been sitting. Five. I have no use for them. Cool. Seven. Yep. Cool. And then, how much did you want from again? Fifty. Fifty. Cool. We can do that. Cool. How'd you get them? I used to golf. Oh, okay. Before, you know. <laughs> and I just haven't used them in a long time. Okay. So I just can't go. I have 13 herniated disc in my back. So oh yeah. Swinging a golf club. Yeah, that'll do it. It's impossible. Yeah. I kidney transplant. And it's just. I just don't do it no more. Cool. Yep. Well, thank you very much. Right. Not a problem. Thank you. Y'all yep. have a great day. You, you too. Thank Enjoy you. Them. So how did I do? That was crazy. I knew there was something up when you told me to put the uh, GoPro backpack strap on, but how did you know about the, what did you call them? The dream irons? How did you know that? <laughs> I can see what you search for on eBay. <laughs> how did you keep a straight, genius. <laughs> how did you keep a straight face when I was talking about Adams at that Goodwill? Oh, that was hard. I had to look away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we've made it out to the uh, muddy course. We're gonna go play a few holes with them and uh, yeah, see if I, the dream is a reality now. See if they're really good. Let's take a closer look at these. Adam CMB forged irons, absolutely stunning. When I first saw them, I saw the rust and everything. I was like, oh, the shafts are gonna be messed up. It's gonna need new grips. That wasn't the case. Oh, and they're four through gap wedge, which is crazy too. But uh, KBS Tour C taper light X flex shafts. That's pretty much what I would want. And Lampkin cross line grips. Got Lampkin cross lines on pretty much all of my clubs. So I don't know how she did it, but uh, pretty much picked my dream irons. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Excited to hit them. We got a par four. I'm gonna play from the white tee so I can hit irons the whole way in. Par four, going with a four iron. We got like 320 yards or something like that. I didn't even feel like I hit that good, but that thing just went forever. Awesome ball flight. The irons that I currently use are Adams V3 combos, and it's like the short irons, the regular irons, and it goes into hybrids. I just like balloon the hybrids, but I hit the short irons uh, really good. So, I mean, this is like perfect. Uh, hopefully, based on that four and I didn't hit it very good, so it still went pretty good, so I don't even need the hybrids at this point. But uh, we got 100 yards exactly, so should be good. John tells me he's going with a three-quarter gap wedge. The pin is right there. He's going a little bit further than I'm used to. Went a little bit long, but we can use the putter still. We got a white ice two ball blade. I don't know how we, what would, what did we pay for this again? 50 bucks. Did you negotiate pre like before? Uh, no, he said, or e like even give a best offer. No, nah, I wasn't going to negotiate no. with him. 50 bucks for all this stuff is a really good deal. Let's see if we can't put it close. You know which way this is breaking? Actually, no, <laughs> I think multiple ways. That was a pretty good putt for that distance. This hole is John's nemesis. I think I've seen him play it about a hundred times and maybe hit the green 10. Hopefully you couldn't hear that. Par three, <laughs> 210 yards. That felt really good, but I uh, can't really judge the wind on this hole for some reason. There's like a saltwater canal there, freshwater canal there. And yeah, I don't know if that makes a difference, but the wind does weird things and there's houses and trees. That's what helps me sleep at night because I can never hit this green, but I'm gonna try a little gap wedge chip shot, see if we can't put it close. I like that putter too. So if I got new irons and a putter, 
Wife of the year, guys. <laughs> Nice putt. Par five here. I want to leave a good yardage for a long iron into the green. So I'm going with three wood off the tee, which also happens to be an Adams. Guys, if you're looking for a cheap three wood and you don't want the latest thing, all of that, go with an Adams. Absolute. They're my favorite fairway woods. They might be my favorite irons too, though. So we'll see. 210 yards, dead into the wind, water on the right, out of bounds on the left, with new irons. Hey, these things are long. I think that there's like a little ridge right there. I can't see where I landed, but I think that's on the uh, back edge of the green. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Look at that face. He's like grinning the entire time. He's just so happy. <laughs> All right, the pin is tucked way back there. The good thing we have a face forward wedge. Supposed to prevent you from uh, shanking. Let's see if we can't put it close. Even John can make this putt. You wanna try that uh, Tommy Armour putter? Sure. Let's do that. World's best putter, we got her lined up with the Tommy Armour Silver Scott Blade putter. We'll take a look at it after she makes the putt. On command, oh, a little short. It did just rain though, so give her some uh, slack here, guys. Let's take a look at this putter. Feel good? Yeah, it felt pretty good. Yeah, old school blade, Tommy Armour Silver Scott. Yeah, I like that the alignment is an A too. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, up next, we got a par four, wicked dog leg to the right. You have to lay up on this one. John says he's gonna hit it as close as he can to that foot golf hole to the left. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get a hole in one. <laughs> I don't know if that would count. Dang, you actually almost did get a hole in one. Well, the hole is gigantic. We should do like a little challenge. I just thought of this. We should do like a square strike only challenge <laughs> with the foot golf holes. That, that should be fun. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. But uh, 120 yards. John's keeping the flag in. 2019 rules. It's a foot golf hole? Yeah. I was afraid I was gonna hit <laughs> Oh, that was pretty close. <laughs> Ashley wants to get in on the fun on these irons. Got a hundred yards left. She's going with a nine iron. Oh, that was a nice draw. I think the extra stiff shafts might be a little bit much. How'd they yeah. feel though? Pretty good, but I don't think they're my dream irons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a different set of atoms. <laughs> this thing looked too goofy not to hit. So here we go. Face forward wedge. Got to carry it over a bunker. Oh. We're gonna have to do that versus the square strike. Yeah. That was sick. <laughs> Dang, Ashley, you put that close. Yeah. Perfect shot, had to mess with the bunker, landed on a down slope. No big thing. All right, let's go uh, putt at the same time. Cool. All right, guys, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. That would've been cool if you both made it at the <laughs> end, but uh, yeah, we're not into doing retakes. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know I did the uh, Titleist bag, the Skechers, irons putter leave a like on the video for ashley <laughs> best wife ever if you ask me oh and we just passed 10,000 subscribers which is crazy happened a little bit quicker than we thought we were going to do like a weird video at uh, taco bell or uh, waffle house we're still <laughs> deciding on that but we'll do something crazy uh, soon for that thank you guys for the support hopefully you enjoyed the video hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time see you next time guys thanks again for 10k that's awesome <laughs>